Hi, I'm Bishop Mike Gerlinghaus of the Arkansas Oklahoma Synod. And in this short video today, I'd like to invite you to join me and many others across the Synod in Living God's Abundance. Living God's Abundance is a campaign to support the mission and ministry of the Arkansas Oklahoma Synod. Across this whole Synod, people are engaged in proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ and living out the love of God in many ways. But we can do so much more, so much more together if we combine our resources and our efforts and live God's abundance as one. Living God's Abundance is a three-year, $1.5 million capital campaign designed to provide resources and support and encouragement for all of the ministry that's going on all across the Synod. Our goal is that by 2025, we will have 60 growing, thriving ministries in this Synod. And we invite you to be a part of that. We invite your congregation to become one of those growing, thriving ministries through living God's abundance. And so, in these vignettes that will follow, we will hear about how together we can grow ministry, how we can inspire leaders, how we can be connected to one another in vibrant and new ways, and how we can share God's abundance not only with one another, but with the whole church and the whole world. So I invite you now to learn more about living God's abundance. Throughout the scriptures, God calls upon God's people to live lives of generosity and sharing. As they say, we have been blessed to be a blessing. And through living God's abundance, we have the opportunity to share the blessings that we have received with the, God's people and with the church. As a part of our stewardship in living God's abundance, we will be sharing a proportion of what we receive further in, for the life of the, the whole church portion of whatever it is we raise will go to the campaign for the ELCA. The campaign for the ELCA shares many of the same goals and priorities that Living God's Abundance does. Through the campaign for the ELCA, the whole church will be growing new ministries. Through the campaign for the ELCA, we'll be raising up new leaders. There will be programs for youth and for young adults. And we'll be supporting the mission work we do literally all over the world. And so, through living God's abundance, we will literally touch the lives of millions of people all over the world with the good news and the gospel of Jesus Christ. A little closer to home, a portion of what we raise through sharing living God's abundance will be shared with the ministry at, at Oaks, particularly the Oaks Indian Mission, a, a ministry that we have been supporting in the Arkansas Oklahoma Synod and partnering with for many, many, many years. In this last vignette, we will meet Dean Mill Ward, who is the child care director at Oaks Indian Mission. And she will be sharing a little bit about this very important work that we do together in the Arkansas Oklahoma Center. We want you to know, brothers and sisters, about the grace of God that has been granted to the churches of Macedonia. For during a severe ordeal of affliction, their abundant joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. My name is Dina Board. I'm married to Travis Board. We've been at the Oaks Indian Mission since 2008. One of the youngest residents that we had during the time that my husband and I lived on campus and served as house parents, um, the little sister came to us at four years old and the brother came at six. They were scared, they were dropped off. Um, the mother of these children had actually lived here most of her adolescent life. She was a single mother. Her boyfriend was, became incarcerated. So she dropped her two little ones off um, out of desperation. She had food insecurity. Um, she was having trouble getting the kids to school, a lot of truancy. Um, she lived in a violent neighborhood in North Tulsa. Um, she didn't have any family resources to reach out for. And so when we got the two children, um, we went through a lot, of, um, a lot of grieving on their part, a lot of temper tantrums, a lot of behavior adjustments to try to get them used to living in this kind of setting. Um, at the time, my husband and I had the boys, and so the little boy came to live with us in our home, and he actually shared our home for almost five years. But a happy update on the story, um, the mother used the time that her children were at the mission and she put herself through college. 
and now she's a registered nurse, and she was able to bring her children back home with her, and they're thriving. So this past Friday, we got to, we have one senior that was eligible to go to prom, and so we did that. Um, we were able to take her to go get her nails done, dress shopping, get her hair done. Um, she looked amazing. She was, she was scared to death. She, she drug her feet, and she was probably a good 20 to 30 minutes late because she, she decided she didn't have any friends and she wasn't going to go. And so, but once we got her through the door, she warned us to keep our phones in our hands because she was going to be calling within an hour to 45 minutes. Um, we finally drug her out about one, one in the morning. So, um, you know, she, she was beaming, she was glowing, she was beautiful. Um, I think it was everything that she dreamed it would be and more. Um, she got to have, you know, pictures for her family. She, you know, got an opportunity that I think otherwise she probably never would have gotten. Um, because before, where she, you know, she had so many truancy issues, she probably wouldn't have been completing her senior year that she's doing as we speak. I mean, she's got, you know, four weeks left of school, and this girl's a straight-A student, and she's making it. You know, she's succeeding, and it's amazing to see. Okay. My hope for the children is that we're laying foundations for leadership, that we gain new residents not out of desperation, but as um, an aspiration to go on to uh, build upon their education, to go back into their home communities, into their home tribes, and become the leaders of tomorrow. I am excited about all the possibilities for mission and ministry in the Arkansas Oklahoma Synod. And through living God's abundance, we can make these possibilities a reality. With God's guidance and the power of the Holy Spirit, we truly can touch people's lives with the good news of Jesus Christ. We can touch people's lives with the love and the forgiveness and the hope that is ours in Jesus. And so I want to invite you to partner with me and with others across this synod in supporting living God's abundance. Through your gift, we can truly grow ministries, we can inspire leaders, we can connect congregations in new and vibrant ways, and we can share God's abundance with the whole world. Finally, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for the partnership that you share already in the mission and the ministry of the Arkansas Oklahoma Synod and for all of the ways that you support the mission and ministry that we do all across this church. If you'd like to find out more about Living God's Abundance, I would invite you to check out uh, our Synod website, or we can send you information that you can use in your congregation or in your ministry to learn more about Living God's Abundance. Just give the Synod office a call, and we'd be happy to mail it to you. My prayer for you is that God might continue to bless you richly, to continue to bless your congregation and the ministries of which you are a part. And I would pray that you would be able to live God's abundance in your life and in your ministries. In Jesus' name, thank you.